before we get into this video, I have a few updates. The rumors of my demise are highly exaggerated. I'm still here. I'm just really busy lately. We bought a house and there's tons of stuff to do and I'm just trying to get them done. Um, I have some exciting videos coming. I uh, can't wait to show you um, some uh, very cool projects and uh, I'll be able to do a bigger and uh, better projects, which I'm pretty excited about. Up on 500 subscribers, um, I'd like to do a Q&A subscriber, 500 subscriber special. So if you have any questions and you haven't submitted them yet, please put them in the comments section below. I'd really appreciate it. I found this really cool uh, sarcophagus at, um, at a thrift store. I couldn't pass it up. It was very neat looking. I can't tell what type of material it's made of. It might be a ceramic painted metal or it might be pew pewter. It's really hard to tell. It's rather heavy though, and it's very detailed, which I find pretty cool. I'd love to know what these little symbols mean. You remember that little skeleton I picked up during Halloween? He fits in here pretty well. I think I'll cover him with some bandages to make him look more like a mummy, but he's more like a child-sized mummy in scale with my action figures here. I paid six dollars for it, which is not too bad for something like this. It's probably supposed to be like a desktop uh, trinket holder or something. But I thought it was really cool and too cool to pass up. The skeleton guy fits in there pretty well. I think after I put bandages on him, he'll look like a really cool mummy. Anyways, that's all I have for you this time. Please click that like button if you like this video. Drop a comment, ask a question. Don't forget to collect, inspire, and create. I'll see you in the next video.